Hey again, and welcome back to another installment of GT Garage. And we're here working on the camper again. Now, I um, have to admit, I'm really bad at this video thing. Um, I'm the sort of person that just really wants to knuckle down, get things done, and the video thing just sort of takes up time. And yeah, I'll make a really bad YouTuber. But anyway, thought I'd give an update. Like the last few nights, I've been in a bit of a rush just helping out with um, my daughter, Charlotte. Um, just being a bit of a pain at the moment. So I've just sort of rushed out here to do work in short bursts and yeah, just haven't got around to recording. So here's an update. Got two walls trimmed, glued and mounted on. So just in case you didn't realise, charcoal coloured sign bond wall um, at the moment. The roof panel is just sitting there on top. Um, but yeah, what a pain. I did that side first. Just takes forever to trim it in along the bottom, like all of those around bars and guards and everything that took the longest. Took probably about two and a half hours to do that side, just to trim it. And then glued that on and this side no joke took half the time maybe less so yeah I do the little trimmings get the bottom lined up clamp it on there and use the um, routing tool to edge it around the edges works a treat beautiful and then yeah this side took half the time um, yeah, I think I did a video on the hatch yeah I've got the hatch working Works beautiful, probably too good. It's very powerful. Probably mess around with the mounting points, but nah, it's fine. It'll work good, be nice and strong. Um, I think if I put, I think how it works. Let's see if physics or uh, helps me. What I did at school. I think if I did put this point further back. It increases the lever over here and then it doesn't take as so much force to pull it out which means I need to lower this point here to allow for the closing um, point without this sort of binding up here only problem is I'm planning on doing a hinged bench and we are already very close to swinging near here that's why I'm kind of Quite happy I reckon with leaving it where it is like it does take a bit of force but remember we've got a sheet of sign bond to go onto um, sorry I'm just trying to close it here um, I've got a sheet of sign bond go onto this door if we add another few kilos so not really concerned and plus not like you're opening and shutting this all the time I mean my wife's a, a strong woman and, you know, she'll struggle with it a bit, but you get there. It doesn't take your whole body weight. So, not too concerned. I'm going to leave that like that for now. Um, so, just to outline, use T-Rex. It is not sponsored, by the way. Just uh, recommending a, a good product. Um, T-Rex Fast Grab. First time I've used it, so, so far so good. It takes ages for it to dry, but I reckon that's because it's where I live in the Adelaide Hills. Um, I uh, noticed yesterday that even after about 20 hours of that glue being on on that side, there were some spots that were still a little bit soft, but I think that's because it was uh, about... Oh, it's no, no higher than 15 degrees around here, degrees Celsius, during the day. So, probably something to do with that. I think I'll find, or I read somewhere, that you're not meant to apply this stuff below 10 degrees Celsius. So, yeah, it'll dry eventually. Now, the other thing I did was uh, install, or dummy fit, one of the doors. Now, this is... Oops. Hit my shoulder. Yeah, 
this is pretty cool so this is only just screwed in at the moment it's not glued in so there's a screen on the bottom and then this window slides up I'm just not doing it now because I have to hold the door open um, deadlocked works good actually clicks in not bad for a second door as in like it's a second it's not an a-class door now I, re I reckon the reason why it was sold as a second is there's a few imperfections like I mean see that it's got a bit of a ripple there in the frame and plus um yeah it takes a little bit to click it in but remember this is on rubber rubber seals so the only other thing I need to do there when I'm ready to for them to be in place is a bit of sick effect flex to glue it in. So yeah, that's one door done. That's um, one thing that I have to do on the other side, just route it out so you can see I drilled some holes, route it out, dummy fit the door, screw it in, and then I'm not gonna glue them until last minute because one of the last jobs because I want to be able to take them out to protect them and it's easy to fit them in and then glue and screw it's great okay that's all for now please like and subscribe if these are any good any use to you feel free to comment bye for now